We are on Orla, Perak Aleph, and Mishnah Zayin. Now our Mishnah turns to the question of what is prohibited in Orla. We've learned before the Psukim say, okay, but Orla Dem, Orla Tod, Pirio. Okay, so what's considered Pirio? What's considered fruit that is prohibited to be consumed as part of Orla? Let's go back to the Mishnah. It says the Mishnah, Alim, the leaves, Lulavim, the shoots, Megfanim. Megfanim is not wine, it's not from the grapes, it's the liquid that emerges from the geffen, from the vines, when you cut them. At a certain point, they're so overloaded with water, okay, that's what the Bartunur says, water that comes out of the, out of the vine, when you cut them, the geffen, or it does morod in the, in the, in the early spring, in the spring months, they're so overloaded with water that there's like, I guess, some kind of, it has some kind of properties they use. Usmadar. Smadar is the flowers. It's the flower that grows before the actual fruit grows. All of those things, as the Mishnah Mutarim Bo'orla, they are not prohibited as part of the Isura Bo'orla. Ubu Ravai, also Neta Ravai. Okay, it's not considered part of the fruit of Neta Ravai. You don't have to take it to Yushalayim. Ubu Nazir, remember, Nazir is prohibited from eating grapes. But the shoots, grape leaves, are not grapes. But, Vasurim Ba'asherah. There's something called an eight Ashera. An eight Ashera is the following. It says, eight Ashera are either trees that were grown on the, that were grown on Harabite, and they're, it's, or it's a kind of tree that's a Nevad. It's a kind of tree that's worshipped. Oh, and that's not an eight Ashera. It's not grown on Harabite. I take that back. It's an Ashera. Ilan and Nevad. It's a tree that's worshipped. Okay, it's a, it's a tree that's, uh, that was a Bodhazara. It says, you can't have anything from the cherim. It's all considered cherim, the whole tree, not just the fruits of the tree. So even though it's not considered fruit, okay, asurim ba'ashera, it's prohibited. It's prohibited uh, an eight, for an eight ashera. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi says that smadar asur, that smadar, that flower is asur, bibneshu pri, because the smadar is considered a pri. The Tanakhama obviously agrees, disagrees, excuse me. Rabbi Lezer, Omer, Rabbi Lezer says, Ma'amid bisraf ha'orla asur. Ma'amid bisraf ha'orla, the Bartunera says, Ma'amid gvina, a person makes cheese. He can co- co- coagulates cheese. Besaraf hanotef me'atzei ha'orla. From the saraf that drips from the orla trees. What's saraf? The, Bar- the uh, Jastro says. Acrid substance, vegetable sap. Resin, gum, it's the sap. So I guess they had a way of using the saraf, using the sap, in order to make cheese. It was so it was used to create, to make food. So Rabbi Lezer says, since it's edible, since it's used to make food, I'm amid bisraf or la asur. If you do it with the trees for the first first three years, it's asur. I'm a Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua says, Shamati bifeirush, I heard explicitly, Sham amid bisraf alim u bisraf ikarim mutar. That if you, if you make cheese with the saraf, with the sap from the leaves, or if the sap of the ikarim, I guess that means the roots, then it's mutar. Those are not fruits. But bisraf hapagim asur. Pagim, remember, are the early grapes. Pagim are, right, the unripened grapes. And it's asur, obviously, mipnei shehem pri. Okay, and we say, the, the, the kahati says that we follow the halacha, like Rabbi Yehoshua. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, as always, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.